I, I think I have uh, different like phases from like January, February till the beginning of camp, and this year was pretty good. So, what are your expectations heading into the season, given that it's a full first full year with Deshaun? I'm excited, bro. Honestly, I'm so excited. Um, I think we all have high expectations for the whole team, you know what I mean? But we just focus on one day at a time. You know, we try, try to stay present, leveled. We stick it from there. Is the offense going to look a lot different? Or do we not know that yet? I guess you'll find out, right? <laughs> well, I mean, are we going to find out soon? Or is it going to be? <laughs> we'll see. I mean, maybe we'll show you like a little tease in camp. You never know. It's up to the head man, Kevin Stefanski. You got that on the camera? <laughs> What was, you know, we talk so much about building chemistry yeah. with the receivers and Deshaun. So all the different things you guys did during the offseason, mm -hmm. do you feel like you were able to take those steps? Absolutely, absolutely. I think just just us just being together is a positive. How much more talking football together, like picking each other's minds, you know, knowing what we're, we're thinking so we can, you know, that that chemistry will, will rise. I think that helped a lot. David, we were talking to Coach before practice, and you came up. And his eyes kind of lit up. Like he couldn't wait to talk about kind of where you're at and you're fitting this thing. Anything different, like from one year to the next? Sorry, year or say that one more time. You were talking to coach. We were talking to coach okay. before practice. And you, you said my up. name, and, and his eyes he lit up. He kind of lit up. He couldn't wait to talk about it. I, mean, I'm, I might be in trouble, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find out in about a half hour. <laughs> That's all it is. No, um, different going into this. I mean, no. I just, you know, uh, I mean, every off season, you know, you 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 have a chip on your shoulder to. To be a better athlete or a better player than than you were previously, and um, I feel like this year, not not just myself, but a bunch of the guys, especially on offense, I don't I don't really know much more about defense, but we uh, really took it upon ourselves to, you know, figure it out, you know. And uh, have we figured it all out yet? No. Uh, every day we're trying to we're trying to get better and better, but we're working hard. So we're just going to continue to work hard, and you know, God willing, good things will happen. Not speaking for Kevin, but I think he sees another level for you. You feel like you're going. Do I feel like I have another level? Yes, I do. God willing, we find out this year, huh? I stay healthy. <laughs> like, damn, you know? So, we'll see. You know, he's been working hard every day for, for good things. He did rave about the. He thinks you've matured a lot since he got here in 2020. Matured? I hope so. I hope so. Let's just say yes. I think I have it too. Has that been a, like a point of emphasis for you? Something you've paid attention to? Is, <laughs> like, hey, I need to get, I need to grow up a little bit. And like, did you ever think that? I'm gonna be honest. Um, when I'm 50, 60, 70, I think I'm gonna act the same way. You know, I just uh, one of my mentors told me something, and it hit hard because he's in his 60s. You know, knocking on 70, he said, never, never forget that kid you once was. You know, never change that. You know what I mean? I feel like as kids, and this is off topic, but as kids. Uh, you know, we, we see ad, ad, adults and we think, okay, they, well, they got to figure it out, number one. They, they're they different than us. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we'd be grow up, we maybe have some gray hairs, but we're still, still the same kids that we once was. So, try to keep it fun, you know? Sure. Stop saying sure like that. Like, you got to agree with me. Yes. I think. <laughs> sure means yes. Um, what do you think Elijah Moore can answer? Oh, my God. The boy is explosive. He excites me, man. He really does. Like, his, his route running... His uh, ball abilities, like he's just, he's elite. You know what I mean? I don't want to toot his horn too much, you know, because there's always room for, room for all of us, but that's one player that definitely excited me the most this, uh, this offseason. How's the foot feel? And, and, you know, talk about just the process of getting back out there and, yeah. and running around. Yeah, foot feels fine, feels good. Um, spent a lot of time on the offseason eating the right things, uh, doing the right things, whether it's stretching, yoga, taking the right supplements to be able to um, ensure. Uh, the foot's health, so it's doing well. Did you ever consider undergoing a surgery? Did you ever under, consider undergoing a surgery? Was that a, a decision that you had to make, and ultimately, how did you decide not to? Yeah, I mean, um, a surgery was obviously presented as an option. Um, I wanted to uh, more so tap into the uh, natural way to kind of heal my foot. Um, and I just thought personally, it was a personal decision. It wasn't like um, I saw anything better on this side or you know, not better on that side. It was more so just a personal preference. Okay, when uh, Coach was asked about you today, uh, he was asked what would make a great year for Jeremiah. First thing he said was, stay healthy. 
absolutely. Are you as <laughs> conscious of that? Yeah. He obviously yeah, I mean, uh, you're obviously conscious of it. Of course, when you get on the field, you're not thinking, oh, you know, let me not do this uh, so that I won't, you know, get an injury or something like that. You just go out there, you have fun, and you play. Um, I agree 100% with Coach. Um, the best ability is availability. So if we can have a healthy year, you know, that's a successful year. Kevin said you came in at the weight that they were hoping you would. How do you yeah. feel about uh, your weight going into the season? Yeah, weight feels fine, um, you know. So I gained a little bit more mass um, to be able. I still feel fast, still feel quick. I uh, still, still feel like I could do the same things that I, um, you know, am used to doing, the quickness and the agility, so it uh, feels fine. Has it, been difficult coming off? Has it been difficult to kind of find that way and figure out, like, what the ideal number is for you? Yeah, not necessarily. I mean, I'm always in between, you know, 216 and 225, so I'm always in that range. Um, it's just about keeping that consistently uh, throughout the season and making sure that, you know, I'm eating the right things, uh, staying. You know, with, with my diet, is a little bit different. You know, I can't take, you know, three days off, two days off uh, with not eating the right things, right? So I have to be a little bit more conscientious of exactly what I'm putting in my body and the things that I'm taking. Is, is that where you were last year? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you happy with where, where your weight was last year? Yeah, I mean, uh, not necessarily. I mean, I, I was in the space where I could still play fast, uh, but and I could still, you know, be powerful. Um, I told A Walk the other day. He was, uh, you know, it was joking on, you know, the weight situation. I'm like, well, you, if you find ten plays through my years that I've been here where somebody has bullied me, then let me know. So, <laughs> joking with him like that, but um, you know, it was more so of durability. Um, like uh, Coach Stefanski said, it's about health. So that's what I'm gaining weight for, and I'm, so that's why I'm going to get more mass to be able to be more durable, take more shots, and to give more shots. So. How do you, um, how have you balanced the, the rehab aspect while at the same time maybe trying to find ways to make yourself a better player? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think necessarily it's about, um, you know, training a particular way versus another. Um, even with, you know, injured guys, I mean, you look at some of the best players, they might not necessarily look like they're working as hard as some of the other players. Uh, it's really about finding the tempo for you. It's about finding where exactly to train, uh, who to train with, what are the good people that you need uh, to invest in your body. Uh, so, you know, you do a lot of things to stay conditioning. Uh, you say, do a lot of things to stay healthy um, and to get back healthy. It's really about strength and uh, really the connective tissues versus maybe like a bone or like a muscle. So, yeah. This new, uh, this new defense, we kind of know there are things going to be different up front, things in the back are going to be different. What about in the middle where you are? What's different? Uh, not necessarily anything that's different. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say different at all. I, th I think it's more so of uh, just a mindset and to evolve. And I don't think anything shifts from one from another uh, with the linebacker mindset. It's always run, shed, tackle the guy with the ball, uh, to be simple. Um, Coach Schwartz emphasizes the attack defense. And that's what we're looking to go into, you know. Um, not, nothing different in reference to, you know, um, you know, a certain body type or another body type or a uh, different mindset. I mean, Coach Tarver is still our coach. Uh, we have a similar mindset what going on. What do you make of the fact that the, it's the one position group that didn't add really anybody except one, one player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, you know, again, there's nothing different, right? We want to stay consistent with the room. Um, as coaches uh, may, may tell you, you know, nothing has really shifted in our room. Um, it's more so of just being consistent and really leveling up. You know, we, we, we want to be the best linebacker group um, in, the, in the country, right? Um, and in the world, I know we, you know we win the Super Bowl, we say the champions of the world, right? <laughs> so uh, really in the world. So we want to make sure that we stay consistent and grow from what we were last year. feel better being back in the old college number? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, definitely. Was that always the plan? Did you always want to get back to the um, It was semi the plan. You know, I was like, you know, Baker going to be here forever. You know? <laughs> you know, you look around, you know, you see nothing but Baker jerseys. So uh, even last year, I'm like, oh, I don't want to get it yet, you know? <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, I talked to Baker about it, and, you know, so it, it's cool. What did Baker say when you well, I was talking to him about it last year, um, and I was like, yeah, you know, I might think about getting this number. He's like, ah, you might want to wait a year, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, nah, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Are you excited about how you could be used in this defense with the attacking and, and yeah. playing to your strengths? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, any player that has a certain skill set um, yearns for a coach like Coach Schwartz uh, to be able to tap into his full potential, um, to put him in the right places, to – uh, send him when it's time to send, to pull him back when it's time to pull him back. And uh, Coach Schwartz really understands not only my skill set, but also the other players and the personnel, um, not only of our team, but also of the other teams and when to put us um, different places at certain times. So it's good. Have you watched some film of linebackers that have played for Jim Schwartz before, maybe you know, from the Eagles or anything? I mean, my eyes is green right now. <laughs> How much Eagles film I don't watch. Uh, but yes, of course. Yeah, that's a part of it. Who, who have you been watching and who do you see that sort of 
Nigel uh, is a guy from the, from the Eagles, a uh, very good linebacker, very elusive, um, able to hop one place from another, get the A to C, uh, you know, very strong. Um, it's easy, really able to see the field in certain ways and explode to the ball. Uh, he really embodies that um, attack mindset um, when you go watch that Eagles film from when Swartz was there. When you talk about building up that durability, Jeremiah, when we talked to Coach Car Carver right at the end of minicamp, he said that was one of the two things he told you, that was his kind of going away message. You need to come back stronger, and then I think with a better understanding of the system. Yeah. Is that something that you guys are on the same page about? Yeah, I mean, I, it wasn't just um, to me. It was more so for the entire linebacker group. Uh, my mindset is always, you know, a coach is not going to say, you know, come back weaker or come back slower. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of course, the coach emphasizes, you know, coming back stronger, faster. Uh, we're linebackers. This is what we do. We get downhill. Uh, we don't hesitate, right? These are some of the things that's been emphasized lately. Um, the tenacity in which we play. Uh, coach Schwartz always talks about us being the nerve center. You know, Y'all probably heard that once or twice. Uh, so, yeah, that's really what we're focused on is, is to be that holistic uh, group and, and to not allow, you know, ourselves to succumb to any uh, weaknesses. Jeremiah, knowing you, you probably the yeah. How did you do that? Well, I mean, uh, again, I mean, if you, you know, see it as a challenge um, instead of a, a negative, um, then you can get something out of the challenge. The challenge is always supposed to get people better. So uh, when, you know, of course, adversity comes, you, you take it, you look at it, and you say, you know, how can I improve from this? How can I let this situation make me a better person? Um, and that's exactly, you know, the mindset that you have. And frankly, if you do the, you know, the looks on the studies, you'll see that um, that mindset versus somebody that says, oh, this is a negative thing, you heal faster with a certain mindset towards injuries. So. Jeremy, Kevin was talking about that 4-H's exercise with some of your teammates as well, about oh, getting yeah. to know each other as people. Mm -hmm. uh, what has that exercise been like that? What, have you done that before? And I guess just take us through the impact. Yeah, so I haven't done it yet, but I mean, we've, um, every year we've done it. So different guys have gone, talks about the history, talk about the heroes, you know, talk about just different things that has um, impacted them and who we're looking at. Um, everybody has a story, everybody has a history, um, and as well, everybody has you know, hopes of a better future or of a you know, consistent future, right? So uh, that's been a, a very productive exercise, and I think you know, that's one of the ways that this team chemistry is going to excel. Do you enter year three here? How do you look back on your first two years? Yeah, uh, a bit more, a bit more free. Um, you know, I'm breathing. I'm breathing now, right? Uh, we have a scheme that um, really allows us to be who we are, right? Uh, coaching staff that's very solid. We put the pieces in place. Um, you know, looking for a very, very strong year. So just, just, just free. Um, you know, I could breathe. Our brothers could breathe. We could kind of go out there and really um, go out there and attack and do what we do. So I think that's going to be huge. Uh, you'll see it in the mindset. You'll see it in the way that we play. Um, it's going to be very uh, no nonsense, no patty cake. Uh, and, you'll, and you'll see that. So. Do you think two like more, two more, two more. So do you think like when you go back to the first two years, like you had glimpses of what you can show, and then this year it all comes together and it's more consistent or more, um, you know, more of it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, last year wasn't the best year for me specifically, um, but again, everything, nothing really changes. Everything really just evolves. So it's about which way am I going to go? Am I going to decrease or am I going to incline? Uh, so that is what we're focused on. We're focused on the incline. We're focused on doing the same things in reference to the mindset, um, and elevating that um, in the way that we can, and going right within where coach wants us to go. So when you say be free, free of mind, yeah, is that what you mean? Well, not free of mind necessarily. I mean, again, we're going back to the holistic aspect, right? Free your body, getting, getting back stronger, get you no know, no injuries, right? We're talking about the the aspect of football uh, that many people don't get to really experience, where they're out going on the field and being free and. and and not thinking too much, not uh, worried about their body, not worried about a certain scheme, right? So there's a holistic aspect to it. We'll do the last one for Chris over here. Jeremiah, did you, when they hired Jim, did you reach out to some, some guys that played for him? Mm. And, and what was sort of the feedback you got from if, if you did? Yeah, no, I didn't reach out to necessarily anyone. Um, I had certain coaches talk to me, uh, whether it was from, you know, the Notre Dame staff or whether it was from uh, some of my high school coaches that was like, hey, you know, I, you know, I'm an Eagles fan, I've been watching this guy, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so those just, you know, the feedback that I got was the same that um, everybody hears, you know, he's a no-nonsense guy. He's able to um, tap into the true potential of, of players and um, he's able to lead. You know, every um, Warriors that when they go to war, they have to be, you know, gassed up, motivated in some type of way. Um, nobody's just going to war willingly and saying, oh, let me just, you know, go out there and, and risk my life. <laughs> so um, Jim Schwartz, does a great job of that and we're happy we got him.